Welcome to Teledyne RD Instruments webinar on our new River Pro ADCP. My name is Jim Rogers and I am the director of the Water Resources product line and I'll be your presenter today. So here it is, the new River Pro ADCP. It is based on our long-standing product line, the Rio Grande 1200 kilohertz. And what we've done is we've taken the River Ray ADCP and the River Pro ADCP and combined the two features together to create the best product on the market that you're going to find for medium rivers. It is 1200 kilohertz. It's designed to operate in 20 centimeters to 25 meters of water. And as an added benefit, for our long-standing Rio Grande customers, we're going to provide an upgrade path to the latest technology for those of you that don't want to buy a brand new unit and use a unit that continues to work for you today. So this is what we consider a medium to shallow river solution. If you can see in their product line offerings, we have the Stream Pro ADCP, which generally works from 10 centimeters to 6 meters. The River Pro takes us to that next step of 20 centimeters to 25 meters of range. For our large river applications, the ever popular River Ray ADCP works from 40 centimeters to 60 meters of waters and will generally cover uh, the deepest and largest rivers that we deal with in today's industry. And as we mentioned earlier, there is an upgrade path. For those users that have the Rio Grande ADCP, what we can do is we can take your Rio Grande and input the latest electronics. So you're going to use your existing transducer and you're going to use the latest state-of-the-art electronics. We'll provide you with a new end cap, which will still use your existing cable, and we'll upgrade your electronics to the latest generation. Uh, this is not yet available, so look for uh, offerings of this in the near future. So what does the River Pro deliver? Like the Rio Grande ADCP, we offer a 20-degree beam angle. What this means is that you're allowed to collect data near the riverbed than you will with other beam angles. As an example, using a 25 degree beam angle, you're going to get to approximately 10% of the far layer boundary before your data is cut off by side lobes. With a 20 degree beam angle, we can get to within 6% of the bottom before we cut off the data due to side lobe contamination. So what this, in effect, does is eliminates or reduces the amount of unmeasured area in the far layer boundary. What this means to the user is more actual data and less extrapolated or interpolated results. We also deliver a 600 kilohertz independent fifth beam. As you know, the, the River Pro was 1200 kilohertz. So the 600 kilohertz fifth beam allows an independent frequency to measure not only depth to the bottom, but we've also provided a calibrated return signal strength indicator, also known as RSSI, uh, so that this could be used in sediment studies as far as a, uh, all five beams being calibrated to provide the same response based on the same return signal strength. Embedded GPS. If you're going to collect data, you might as well know where you are. Now this GPS is not used to remove the motion of ADCPs. It's not, it's not used to compensate for bad bottom tracking results. This is simply a geo-referenced answer as to where the data has been collected. Uh, most people find this very useful, and a lot of agencies will not allow you to even collect data if you do not have a geo-referencing uh, as to where the data is collected. Auto-adaptive sampling. Today's users do not want to worry about complicated setups. A majority of the users want to go out into the field, put the ADCP in the water, simply follow their measurement techniques, and walk away. They don't want to worry about depth cell sizes, modes of operations, and the number of depth cells. What auto-adaptive sampling does is allow the ADCP to maximize its configuration while it's collecting data. So instead of having to compromise between is the shallow water most important for high resolution and maximum number of depth cells, or is the deeper water more important where a majority of my flow is? So instead of having to sacrifice, auto-adaptive sampling allows you to maximize the setup of your ADCP each and every transition so you have the optimum setup for no matter how deep the water is or how fast it's moving. Of course, we also know there's a lot of people that want to do science. So what we've also done is listen to the community at large, and we have offered an optional manual override. What this does is it allows you to make 
any setting that you want to the ADCP, select any mode, number of cells, cell sizes, uh, it's entirely up to you. You now have manual control of the ADCP. So for those that aren't interested in just traditional discharge work and are want to do something like fish habitat um, or scour studies or something of those natures, this will allow you full manual override so that you're not constantly dealing with changing setups uh, while you're collecting your data. So the River Pro was also designed to take advantage of products that you may already own. As you know, the River Ray ADCP uh, comes with a trimaran float that was specifically designed uh, for the River Ray. Uh, what we have done with the River Pro ADCP is we've made its outside dimensions uh, the same size as the River Ray. So for those of you that actually own a River Ray and would like to take advantage of the River Pro as well, you don't have to purchase the trimaran float with it the River Pro ADCP will slide into the existing float as is so that you don't have to have these, all these floats hanging around if you really only need one and you simply want to transfer the, the system itself in and out of the float. The River Pro ADCP has also been designed to be used with our new quality assurance quality control software called QView. What QView allows you to do is make sure the data that you're collecting meets the regulatory rule sets that have been established by your agency that have been inputted into the QView software. This allows the user the confidence when they're done with their data collection that when they go back to the office the data meets the expectations and the quality that they set out to accomplish. As an added benefit, QView also has a post-processing report mode where it goes in there and it takes a look at each rule that has been established and it gives you the result of how it compares to the minimum and maximum settings of those rules and allows you to print out a detailed report of the quality of your data collection. And as always, the River Pro also will deliver Teledyne RDI's legendary service and support, available seven days a week, 24 hours a day, standing by to assist you to make sure that your experiences with Teledyne RD Instruments products are of the highest quality and of the best experience. I'd like to thank you for your interest and your attention during this program. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact RD Instruments. And if you'd like more information on the River Pro ADCP, please visit the website as you see on your screen. Thank you.